Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, today marks exactly nine months of living on the lithium iron phosphate batteries. And this is what's feeding it now. It's a thousand watts of solar. And when we first started, we only had 400 watts and have slowly added panels as we've added to the entire system. So this is where we'll start with what's going into the panels and I'll walk you through the entire system, which today is the nine month anniversary of living 24 seven on those Chins LifePo 4 batteries. And as you can see, it's a great solar day here in Hawaii today. All right, let's go inside and I'll walk you through everything that we've done. Well, for those of you that have followed this channel from the beginning, the very first video I ever made was the arrival of this battery here. And that's the Chins 12 volt, 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. That's where it all started. Now there's two tied in parallel. The system has slowly grown over time and everything is working just perfectly. So when I first added uh, lithium to the equation of running an off-grid system, I'd been running on lead acid for many years and they were starting to die out and decided to make the big jump to lithium. Got the chins uh, and started learning about all of the charging parameters and there's a lot of videos I've made on how I struggled with that in the beginning. But now I've got it wired up pretty good. Everything's just working flawlessly. And I'm going to walk you right through the whole thing. So here we've got uh, two of these batteries now tied in parallel, as you can see, for a 600 amp hour bank. And coming off that negative lead, the first thing is that Eile battery monitor. And that's the display for the monitor. You can see charging up well on our way to a full charge today. And if you watched uh, the video on where I had a, a malfunction with this particular monitor due to my own negligence of not having that tied in there properly, I ended up with a uh, wire, this that little white wire there that goes to the positive uh, bus bar came loose and welded itself causing a, a, a short in the system blew a 200 amp fuse that has since been uh, taken care of I've not had any more problems of course and it made me put more fuses and switches in this system so it goes on up Got a small little fuse on that now, 10 amp. So if anything would ever happen with that monitor again, it would blow. Going into the bus bars. And shortly after uh, switching over to lithium, bumped up the system to this reliable 12 volt, 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. It's been working perfectly, running 24 seven now for uh, nine months as well. Do have this thing hardwired now and running to all the outlets in the house and it's just been perfect. Occasionally I get an over voltage beep on this when I'm finishing off my full voltage charge. And uh, that's just uh, a little precaution that that inverter sends out when it just momentarily goes to an overcharge uh, state before the MPPT kicks in and, and lowers the voltage. But 
for nine months that thing has also worked flawlessly. And there's the fuse coming off of the inverter. Uh, I want to upgrade this uh, and that's going to be coming up pretty soon. I'm going to end up putting one of those T fuses in there instead of this type of fuse. This fuse worked well for me before when it did blow when I shorted, but I'm going to upgrade to the better uh, T style fuse. Also mounted to the wall here, the Victron Blue Smart Charger. Uh, for the times that I might need to use a generator to boost these batteries up, I will say since I've installed the thousand watts of solar, which has been, uh, geez, two or two months ago anyway, I lose track of time but have not had to use it one single time since I boosted the solar up. And the only thing I have left to do with that is I'm, I'm going to put a, a, a 50 amp breaker in that line between the uh, charger and that particular bus bar. I want a 50 amp breaker in there. Haven't got to that yet. Before I fire that generator up again, I'll drop that in. This is just another uh, 200 amp fuse. Got a manual system switch in case I ever have to come in here and shut the entire system off. Can do that in a moment's notice. Running two EP Ever 40 amp charge controllers. Got one mounted here on one wall and one mounted here. I'm going to put them side by side. Uh, the next time I shut the whole system off, I'll move the one from the wall that I just showed you to be uh, right next to this one. I did put off of there a solar panel isolator. I've got the bottom string left to hook up and I'm just waiting to shut the entire system off again and I'll do that and put in my last switch and that's so I can immediately shut the panels off here. I'm not using them as breakers, I'm just using them as a, a disconnect switch for the solar panels so I don't have to run out there and uh, disconnect them out of the source. I can just flip them here, shut those off so I don't damage those charge controllers. So everything has been working good. I have learned an awful lot about this system. Uh, the Chins batteries, I just can't say enough positive things about them. It was my first venture into lithium. Everything's been working perfectly. I've had a few little mishaps. I've learned a lot along the way. This system is just about completely done. I'm just going to put uh, one more breaker coming off of the the other EP ever that I will mount right over in here and put a breaker in just like that. So I've got just that breaker left for the other charge controller and then one breaker for the Victron. And then once I move all of these wires over here, then I'll go back through the entire system and uh, tidy up those wires a little closer together. Might move things a little bit, but I'm going to wait till uh, I can shut the whole system down and start disconnecting everything and, and just tighten it up. But for nine months now, running 24-7, uh, the batteries, I've never even put a serious workout on these. I'm running a 20 cubic foot refrigerator, 24-7. Uh, everything's working perfectly. Of course, the entire rest of the household, but that's the biggest 24-hour draw is a full-size refrigerator. Um, I'm barely even touching this bank. Draw this down, a 600 amp hour bank. I draw it down in full use from 100%. About 16% of that is all it takes 
uh, before I start recharging the next day. So I'm only cycling about the top 16 to 20 percent, give or take. Um, boy, you just can't beat that. So, as a lot of you know that have been following this channel, uh, <laughs> you've all uh, taught me an awful lot. I've taken a lot of your recommendations over the past nine months. This has been a real fun project. Uh, it's just pretty much coming to an end until I see something else that I think I must need or until one of you tells me something else that would be uh, advantageous to me to add. So yeah, just in lieu of upgrading uh, to a couple of better fuses probably and a couple more switches, I think I'm going to be switched and fused adequately the entire system. That's it. So happy. So happy. Just working so good. All right, everybody. Just wanted to make a, a nine-month review. Nine months on lithium. Haven't looked back one day. So glad that I went with this uh, chemistry. It's going to last for, for many, many years. All right, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Aloha.